Hi everyone and welcome to my top 15 popular TV shows you need to be watching in 2016. When creating this list I took three things into account. Number one being the TV show's respective rating on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. Number two being my own personal opinion because the video wouldn't be original unless I added my own personal input. And number three being whether or not the TV show will have its renewal or debut in 2016. So with all that information, let's get into number 15. When you suffer from our condition, you realize murder, it's just a part of life. It's like breathing. Buckle up, Henry. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. So at number 15 is Forever. Personally, it's one of my most adored TV shows of 2015 just because of the pure originality of the series. It's about a 200 year old man that gets shot by a mystical gun and kind of becomes an immortal but every time he dies, he gets reborn in the lake of New York City. And it's just really interesting to watch and kind of follow along with. I mean, personally, I didn't like Mr. Fantastic, but he plays a great role here in Forever. And I would definitely advise watching it. So, The Shannara Chronicles. Does it deserve the number 14 spot? So far, from the one episode I have watched that was released probably a week ago, I think it was really, really cool. It's about uh, life after we all died out, us humans, with elves and trolls and all that fun stuff from World of Warcraft if you're a fan. That's how I related to it. I don't know how you related to it. But I thought it was really cool. The actors are great. It's got that really great actor that everybody knows but no one really knows his name. And it's just a really fun show to kind of divulge yourself in and get your mind off. Well, it's a good way to escape, should I say. And of course, there's only been one episode released but I would give it a definite number 14 on this list. I'm gonna make sure that you are telling the truth. Touch me and my uncle will have you gutted. Are we good? Yes. Bruce, I never bought your stupid act. You pretended to be my friend. Goodbye, Silver. Gotham is just really that great because it's given us a different perspective than what we're used to. They've taken a movie and comic book franchise that has been really successful and they've gone back in time, but still made it relatable for the viewer through iconic characters such as Penguin, Gordon, and Bruce, and let us see them at a different age group growing up in their respective age classes. And I thought that was really, really cool. And for outside of the box thinking like that, well, that's the reason it's on the list. It's a drug, isn't it? All my guys are trying to figure out what's up with Brian Finch. He's wanted for murder and then he suddenly works for us. He's a genius. I know. It has to be a drug. It's the only thing that makes sense. So who doesn't remember Limitless the movie? I mean, it was the first video that actually showed us what it would be like to use 100% of your brain. Before Lucy came around and told us that 100% of your brain equals you turn into a flash drive. That was a bit disappointing. Luckily for Limitless, it's based off of the actual movie, except it takes a different point of view from Brian Finch, who also ends up on NZT, who was also very lazy at one point and who also became super duper smart. However, it kind of takes a different path when Brian Finch ends up having side effects and Eddie, you remember Eddie from the movie, he comes in and gives him another drug that counteracts these side effects and then the FBI come along and they're like, yo bro, how the hell does that work? Let's make Brian Finch work for us while we try and figure out how we counteract the side effects of the drugs all while juggling Eddie and he's like, oh, it's so crazy. Just, just watch it, it's really cool. Theoretically, it's possible. There are challenges. I can arrange for transit into hell. Opening the cage, that's another matter. You're the king of the joint. Don't you have a key? You're sealed by God himself. Of course I don't have a key. <laughs> so at number 11, we have literally one of my favorite TV shows in the whole world, Supernatural. I've literally been watching Supernatural since I was 13 years old and I've grown up with it. I mean, I'm no fangirl, but I know a lot about it. And it gets a lot of bad credit because of how complicated it really is. I mean, the title doesn't do it justice. It's not just about the supernatural. It's, it's about the intimate connection between God and the devil, demons and angels. I mean, it's you, when you watch it, you feel like you have a greater understanding of what the whole world is all about. And I really enjoy that. Obviously, if you're not into all that kind of stuff, this maybe isn't for you, but it's worth giving it a try. The only problem is it's 11 seasons long so if you're gonna catch up you better start now because to watch 11 seasons takes a long time she can't remember who she is where she came from nothing before she crawled out of that bag in Times Square do you recognize her no then why is your name tattooed on her back 
So, have you ever woken up in the middle of the street in a bag with no clothes on and new tattoos all over your body? Well, this chick has. So, without giving away any spoilers, uh, I, I rate you should go watch it because it unfolds quite nicely. <laughs> great, great definition of that series, Kane. Great, fantastic. 10 out of 10. If this prophecy is fulfilled, they will all fall one by friend, one by foe, and one by family. I like to think of originals as like the manly man version of Vampire Diaries because well, to avoid hate mail, Vampire Diaries is kind of more associated towards a chick flick, whereas Originals is more associated towards like the best, the biggest and the baddest, fighting each other and everyone around them and just necessarily not really taking any shit. And I really enjoy that aspect of Originals, so that's why Originals is here. But definitely if you want to catch a good series and you enjoy the whole science fiction, vampires and freaking werewolves and that whole scenario, aside from the sparkly ones, Go check out Originals, it's great. It says here that you studied clowning at the Clown Francis. That's correct, at the Academy uh, de Clown and Francois. You could probably tell that I'm struggling in your class due to the fact that I don't speak French at all. So by now you've gathered that Alan from The Hangover has his own TV show. Yeah, that same guy, the one that drugs all his friends. So Zach is actually going to have his own TV show. Well, he already has his own TV show, we just have to wait for it because apparently these things take time. And I'm really excited to watch this because who doesn't want to watch that maniac try be a clown? I mean, it speaks for itself why it deserves its spot here. It's a must watch, even if it's bad, like you just have to find out. I can be helpful, give me something to do. You know, my father took me to work once and in 10 minutes I figured out who'd been stealing from the cash register. It was my father. <laughs> So there you have it, coming in at number 7 is The Big Bang Theory, and for humor's sake, let me read you IMDB's description of what The Big Bang Theory is all about. A woman who moves into the apartment across the hall from two brilliant but socially awkward physicists shows them how little they know about life outside the laboratory. I, I know, like, it's a lot of episodes and a lot of seasons of The Big Bang Theory, but that is like the most mediocre description of what The Big Bang Theory is all about. If I had that job, my description would be a group of four scientists and their socially awkward virgin friend. Legit, that that's what I would say if I was allowed to be that vague. And so with number six, we've gone back to the Viking era with Ragnar Lothbrok. I mean, with a name like that, you should be hooked on the series already. Anyway, Ragnar is a Viking. He is vicious. He is freaking got the coolest haircuts in the entire world. And pretty much if you love Game of Thrones and you love pretty girls and like blood and violence and fighting and old days, then this is definitely something you should invest a lot of time into and go out and watch it because the really cool thing is between season one and two there is like a huge age gap so it's really fun to watch and get into so i advise you go out and check it out if you're into that sort of stuff cockroach knew he had the perfect product he just needed to smuggle it to the right markets and the best smugglers in the world were in colombia hola my muchachos next up is Narcos. The reason I love Narcos so much is because it takes you back to the Mexican era where drug dealing was such a big thing and I thought it was really really cool to be able to be involved in that and the way they've done both side narration is really really cool from a cop's point of view. Pretty much Narcos is about the drug dealing cartel back in 1989 I think it was into Miami. It feels like you're watching a documentary that's a really good movie. That's my point of view of it and I really enjoy it. So that's why it's so high up in the list and I, I really would advise you to go and watch it. You came to work for me, so now it's time for you to decide. Are you with me or not? I just called for a vote, and I hope you've been saving your money because your gravy train's about to leave the station. Okay, I'm dialing 911. It's not a heart attack, it's a panic attack. So here we are at number four with another one of my personal favorites, Suits. The reason I love Suits so much is because Mike Ross, the man with the photographic memory to take on a library, passes high school while even on drugs. If I was on drugs, I don't even think I'd be able to find my books. But anyway, Mike Ross embarks on a big journey to become the super lawyer, which he does through meeting Harvey Specter out of the blue in a hotel. And needless to say, it takes a major role and it really incorporates your brain and makes you think. And that's what makes it really nice because you don't have to be a super smart ass to understand it, but you can actually feel smart by watching it. So if you haven't watched Suits, be sure to pick it up and have a look. 
call. This is Enid. Hi. Enid's from outside, too. I want you to help me be Alexandria's other recruiter. He's hitting Jesse. There's only one way it can go. You're gonna have to kill him. So we're in the top three, and number three being The Walking Dead, the TV show that took the world by storm. At one stage, having a production cost per episode, more than most movies at the time, The Walking Dead is the first ever really great zombie apocalypse TV show that was released six years ago. And I mean, it is freaking awesome. Whether you were born a year ago, whether you were born 10 years ago, whether you were born 50 years ago, you've heard about The Walking Dead and either you weren't interested at first but you got into it or you've watched it once and the pure amount of gore turns you off but nonetheless I watched a lot of The Walking Dead and I really enjoyed it and it's a reason it's in the top three. It's because it's freaking awesome. So if you want to watch a TV show with a lot of action, a lot of gore, all about a zombie apocalypse, go check out The Walking Dead. It's freaking cool. Empire Entertainment has filed to become a publicly traded company. Don't forget to thank your cookie on this historic occasion. You forgot about me the second you forced me in there. Because my 400,000 has started this bitch and I want half my company back. So with number two, we have Empire. You may not have heard of Empire yet, but most of the people that watch it seem to fall in love with it almost instantly. And that's for two reasons. Number one being that someone was probably sitting at home and was like, you know what? Nobody really knows how hard the music industry really is. Let's make a TV show about it. And second of all, the music featured in Empire is really, really great. It's original, it's ever changing, and you've never heard it before. It's freaking cool. I listened to that show and I'm like, wow, that's a cool song. I wish I had that. So then I went and got it. They made a bit more money, but you get the idea. <laughs> so guys, if you really want a cool series to watch that's kind of a little bit different from the sci-fi, all that sort of stuff, go watch Empire. It's really, really cool. As I'm sure most of you are expecting, Game of Thrones was indeed number one and with good reason because the show is so freaking complicated and so awesome at the same time. There is absolutely no other reason why it should be anywhere else other than number one. Although I think one of the hardest things I've come across is trying to organize in my mind how I'm going to sum up Game of Thrones in under 45 seconds. And in the great words of Peter Dinklage, I'm going to say stabby 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 sexy 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 stabby 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 brother sister stabby stabby sexy sexy boobs boobs lots of boobs. But seriously, that is a real video. If you want to go check that out, the link is in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed my top 15 of the most popular series to watch in 2016. And of course, before we end, there are some special nominations that I do want to read out before we end the video. These are the TV shows that I really wanted to showcase, but there wasn't enough space on the list to have them in here. So these are my special nominations. Vampire Diaries, The Flash, Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Supergirl, Heroes Reborn, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Shadowhunters, The 100, American Horror Story, Prison Break, Rosewood, Grandfathered, and The Blacklist. These are all really great series and be sure to watch them if you have not. Just because they're not on the list doesn't mean they're bad, so be sure to go check them out. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like underneath. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. My first video of 2016 and my 101st video in ever. So hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.